Good morning. It's 4 a.m. on Thursday, July the 7th. Here are today's top headlines. We're following breaking news out of the UK where Prime Minister Boris Johnson has agreed to resign. We'll have the latest. And a man flashing a fake police badge is under arrest accused of kidnapping a 13-year-old on a bike. Why police believe there could be more victims. Plus, a neighborhood on high alert after a mountain lion is spotted prowling in the backyard of a Simi Valley home. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts now. Hey there and good morning. I'm Eric Spillman in for Chris Schauble. Welcome to the uh, early edition of the KTLA Morning News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you're with us. We will uh, check your as agenda coming yeah. up shortly. First, let's talk weather. Henry, good morning. Uh, good morning, Megan. Happy Thursday, everyone. Getting Cheers. closer to the weekend. Feels like we just left one, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting we'll take another one. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I know. We need more of them. Isn't that the truth? Uh, or at least some longer ones would be nice. But uh, temperature's going to start warming up just a little bit for you today. And then we have that warm up we've been talking about for the weekend. That's still uh, looking like it's in the cards for us. Here's that live look into Long Beach. A little tough to see what type of marine layer we have. We do know it's out there. We will find some morning cloud coverage, perhaps not as thick, not as far inland. And now we're seeing the San Fernando Valley kind of run away from those 80 degree temperatures moving into the mid 90s. Same for the IE. So as mentioned yesterday, really all week long, today would be that transition day as we get towards a warm weekend. Definitely a warm up with temperatures climbing above the average. We'll show you that seven day coming up in just a few minutes, but definitely sunny and warmer. That is the forecast for today, Ginger. All right, yeah, expect exactly what you would expect it to be, right? Um, I was going to say middle of July, still beginning of July. Now, for us, we have a couple of things that we want to make sure we cover. I was just noticing some of the information coming in about some of our crashes, so you have to get ready. Today is going to be kind of one of those interesting days as a lot of people are still coming back at and going to work. 91 freeway, the westbound side, so we want to show you this camera. It's the westbound side right at about the 15. So you see the delays and it's kind of covered up by, of course, the sign. But then you can also tell that a couple of those right lanes are blocked 91 westbound side at the 15. And crash was reported less than an hour ago. So they have a lot of activity here. This tends to be one of those really busy stretches of the 91 freeway. Then you throw this into the mix. It's not going to help. And then a little bit of slowing related to it on the transition on that 15. We'll take you over to a look at this spot. I was reading the information on this. It's interesting because in the exact same area yesterday, but going north, there was a fire. Now they're calling something on fire here on that southbound side. So it's been a little bit since it's happened, but the Imperial Highway on right to the 605 South is closed. And you can see it's right there how it's affecting that 605 South to the 105 West. The fire department is on scene and then all those flashing lights may slow everybody down. But that's the reason we have a couple of those lanes closed for the uh, fire that has developed here. We'll watch it. Keep track of these things popping up. I'll send it back to you guys. Ginger, thank you. And we begin with breaking news from the UK. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has agreed to resign. The Prime Minister is expected to make a formal announcement at any moment now. Johnson had initially rejected calls by his cabinet to step down in the wake of ethics scandals. He said yesterday he would not resign, but he ultimately gave in after more than 50 government officials quit his government and told him to step down. Johnson has faced a wave of scandals, including the discovery that he held a party at 10 Downing Street that violated his government's own pandemic lockdown rules. It's not immediately clear whether Johnson will stay in office until October when the Conservative Party chooses a new leader. A man was arrested for allegedly kidnapping a 13-year-old boy by posing as a law enforcement officer. Investigators believe the suspect may have committed similar crimes in the past. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live. In